A warm welcome to all our TVET lecturers. I'm Prashant Ramdas from Macmillan, and I'm going to tell you about the updates to the curriculum for Industrial Electronics N4. As you know, the previous curriculum dates back as far as 1990, but it has now been thoroughly revised for implementation in the second trimester of 2024. Lecturers and students will need the latest textbooks that include all the new content and changes. We can confidently recommend TVET First Industrial Electronics N4 Students Book, Lecture Guide, and Students Workbook. The logo Revised Curriculum 2024 tells you that the book covers the 2024 curriculum in full. I'll come back to how these books will help you implement the revised curriculum with ease, but first let us focus on the curriculum itself. Why has the curriculum been revised? Students need a thorough knowledge of the technological principles and practices applied in the electronics industry today. The new syllabus aims to equip students with the knowledge and fundamental principles in the electronics industry that will improve their work skills and further their career prospects. What are the most notable changes in the new curriculum? The entire syllabus for Industrial Electronics N4 has been reworked and updated. The most notable change is the removal of the former section 8.9 on testing equipment with its six learning outcomes. All the content about unijunction transistors or UJTs as well as JFETs, MOSFETs and CMOS transistors has been removed from the new curriculum. And lastly, applications in circuit diagram configurations are no longer required for resistive, capacitive and inductive transducers and have also been removed. What is completely new in the revised syllabus? I will tell you about the main new entries, but please note that there are also several smaller changes, such as learning outcomes that have now been specified in greater detail. In Module 1 on Network Theorems, Norton's Theorem is a new addition and has three learning outcomes of its own. In Module 2, titled Alternating Current Theory, RL and RC circuits have been added. Module 3, Electronic Power Control, now includes the Schottky, Avalanche and Gun Diodes with their operating principles, uses and characteristic curves. Has any content been added to Module 4? Module 4 on Power Supplies now has much more detail. For example, 11 types of transformers are listed and their operating principles must be explained through label circuit diagrams. Three transformer ratios are listed, which must be explained and calculated. Three new learning outcomes focus on calculating the current voltage or turns on the primary and secondary windings, calculating the KVA rating of a transformer and explaining the term rectification. Is there anything new in Module 5? Module 5 deals with transistors and operational amplifiers and has 23 learning outcomes. There are quite a few changes. For example, the requirements for Class A, B and AB amplifiers have been specified in greater detail in separate learning outcomes. New learning outcomes deal with the quiescent point or Q point, coupling methods, positive versus negative feedback amplifiers, and four types of feedback connections. The concept of crossover distortion has been added to two learning outcomes. What about Module 6? Module 6 includes a new section with three learning outcomes on LCDs. What does the weighting of these six modules look like? No weighting was given in the old syllabus and the content was previously divided into nine modules. You can see the modules on your screen now. In the new syllabus, the content is structured into six modules and the table on your screen lists the weighting of each module. What can I expect in the exams? The examination in Industrial Electronics N4 will be a three hour paper for 100 marks. It is a closed book exam, but a formula sheet will be attached to the question paper. Scientific calculators are allowed. No programmable calculators, 
reference works, or any previous exam papers or their memoranda are permitted. How will the TVET First Students Book support students? Now let's look at the TVET First textbooks, which have been approved by the DHET. The Students Book offers everything students need to succeed, including the following six features. One, clearly labeled diagrams make it easy to identify the components and specifications of different electrical circuits and characteristic curves. Two, Fully worked examples help students master the problem-solving process step by step. Three, the calculations show all steps so that students can follow the reasoning and maths. Four, detailed tables compare advantages and disadvantages, formulas, differences and relationships between different circuits and systems. Five, clear explanations help students understand the content and correct misconceptions. Six. Language support and definitions help students to understand new concepts and terminology. Does the TVET First book help to prepare students for the exam? Yes, it does. Varied activities encourage lots of practice with exam type questions, thus preparing students for tests, assignments, and internal and final examinations. Summaries at the end of every module make revision easier. Summative assessments test exam readiness and help students see where they need to study more. QR codes link to revision notes and helpful hints. Do I need a new lecturer's guide? The completely new lecturer's guide is a crucial part of your daily teaching. It includes the full answers to all activities and assessments in the student's book. It also contains the full memorandum to the realistic practice exam paper in the student book. The Lecturer's Guide also offers a 10-week teaching plan with teaching ideas and suggestions, a trimester planner, a photocopyable two-page lesson plan template, links to other resources, and a helpful overview of the learning outcomes per module. Do I need a workbook? The accompanying workbook allows students to engage meaningfully with the activities using the space provided to keep their answers to activities and summative assessments together and neatly organized. The workbook includes useful pre-knowledge information that some students will need as a foundation for the N4 content. There are also extra activities and their solutions for students to check their knowledge and engage with learning content in different ways. We know you will have a successful teaching year and achieve the best results with TVET First Industrial Electronics N4. Trust TVET First.